Are you looking for fun things to go do here in Gig Harbor for the rest of September? If so, then keep watching this video and we're gonna dive into it right now. My name is Darren Rivers, I am the Northwest Realtor, and welcome to Living in Gig Harbor. Hey, if you're new to this channel, why don't you go ahead and hit that subscribe button right there, tap that little bell, you get all your notifications. I send out videos all the time about what's going on here in Gig Harbor, what the area has to offer, things like that. So uh, give me a thumbs up if you like the video or any other videos you may see, share it with a friend. All my contact information is gonna be right here. So. Um, you know, if you have any questions about anything, feel free to give me a call, send me a text, send me an email. Um, shoot, even put a comment in the uh, comment section of this video. I'll make sure I get back to you. And on this video, we're going to get started on what activities you can go do here in Gig Harbor for the remaining weeks of September 2022. So I'm getting started on this video a couple weeks late. Uh, we're almost halfway through September and I didn't get this out in time and I apologize for that. So there's been a few events that have actually already happened. But right now we're gonna go through the events that are remaining here in Gig Harbor um, for the rest of the month. So September you know, 13th, 14th, whenever this video gets uh, broadcast out there on YouTube uh, till the end of the month. Um, and just so you know, all the information I'm getting off of this is on the website visitgigharbor.wa.wa. I'm going to put that website right here so you can uh, look it up yourself and just confirm or if you forget what I say in this video, you can look there to see what's going on. But the first event, and I have my little cheat sheet here, okay. So uh, the first event we're going to talk about is actually on September 17th, and this is Gig Harbor Brewing, Brews, and Barbecue Bash. So Gig Harbor Brewing has a tap room downtown Gig Harbor on the waterfront there. September 17th from 6 p.m. to 10 p.m. They're gonna have live music, dancing, barbecue, just like in the title. It looks like it's 65 bucks a person, uh, but it should be a pretty lively event with great beer, great music, great food, lots of people, all that sort of good stuff. So that's the first event, um, at least the first one that I'm advertising to you on September 17th. The next thing that we're going to cover is the Gig Harbor Film Festival. Now this runs a few days from September 22nd through the 25th. All day events, it's at the Galaxy Movie Theater there in Uptown. Um, there's going to be over a hundred films that are going to be playing over those few days. Uh, so you can get on the website again and just, you know, see what you may be interested, what times those showings actually are, all that sort of good stuff. But it's an annual event uh, hosted at Galaxy in Uptown, like I just said and it's September 22nd through the 25th. Starts at 9 a.m. the first day, or I'm sorry, 10 a.m. the first day, and goes all the way through 9 p.m. on the last night. So, um, all day event. I can't imagine that anybody would wanna spend four days watching 100 movies. That would be kind of, uh, God, talk about information overload, but maybe there's a couple in there that you wanna see and uh, that perk your interest. And uh, like I said, 100 different films made by 100 different filmmakers. So, should be a pretty good variety and a great event to attend. Number three on the list of things that you can do for the remaining days of September is the ninth annual Cider Swig. So get this, this is September 24th, which is a Saturday, and it's actually held at the LeMay Car Museum, which is in Tacoma. So you gotta cross over the Tacoma Narrows Bridge to get to it, uh, but it's pretty close and it's a really cool venue. They're gonna have ciders from all over the region, over a hundred ciders there. Tickets include five drink tokens, you get a little festival glass, you get access to live music and food and all that sort of good stuff. Uh, you do have to be 21 and over to get into the Cider Garden, but you can, uh, you know, if you want to bring the family and, and go check out all the other things like the music and of course the awesome display of cars that they have at the Le LeMay Car Museum, uh, it might be a great event. So this is Saturday, September 24th. Doors open at 11.30 in the morning, close at 6 p.m. And again, you know, like I said, that first website that I um, uh, outlined at the beginning of this video, all this information you can look up on there in case you forget what I'm saying. But ninth annual Cider Swig, September 24th, should be a great time. Number four activity is on September 30th, and this is at the Gig Harbor Sportsman Club. It's Pull for a Soldier. 
So this is actually like a trap shooting competition and you can be new at this and have no clue what you're doing and they'll guide you through it or you can be an experienced trap shooter and uh, go out there and light it up and blow everybody away. But this is actually from 9 in the morning until 5 p.m. It's an all-day event. Uh, at the Gig Harbor Sportsman Club, which is over by the Little League fields and things like that. Um, and uh, if you're into trap shooting, skeet shooting, uh, it sounds like it's a great time. I'm really curious. Uh, I want to look into this a little bit more. They say, hey, first timers, come on out. So they must have some sort of instructors or something like that that you know kind of guide you along. But it's all for a good cause. It's pull for the soldier and uh, should be a great event. Again, that's on September 30th. Number five on the list of things remaining left to do here in Gig Harbor in September. It's actually on the same day as the, the trap shooting deal. So it's on September 30th and it is the Chamber of Commerce annual golf tournament held at Cannawood Golf and Country Club. Uh, so this is an all day thing, right? It's $700 per four person team or if you just wanna sign up individually, it's 175 bucks. But that includes the golf, the golf cart, you get range balls, there's a bunch of games that you're automatically included in, also includes lunch, beers out on the course, and a great dinner following the competition. So, um, pretty all-inclusive, all, -inclusive, all uh, hosted by the Chamber of Commerce, obviously, and uh, 35 years in a row now that they've done this. So, 35th annual, it's September 30th, gets started early that morning, and it's kind of an all-day thing, especially with dinner included afterwards. So, And if you've never golfed Canwood Golf and Country Club, it's a great course. I'm a member there myself. Um, it's really, really first class. So it's a great setting, great time of year into September. The weather should be perfect. And uh, so that's number five thing to do on the list for things remaining in September. Gosh, remaining. I should have done this video a couple weeks ago, but here we are. Well, that's all I got this time, folks. Uh, those are some of the remaining activities, five to be exact. Uh, that are left in the last couple weeks of September here in Gig Harbor, Washington. So again, my name is Darren Rivers. I'm the Northwest Realtor. This was Living in Gig Harbor, and it still is Living in Gig Harbor. Uh, and stay tuned for my next video. And again, give me a thumbs up if you like it. Uh, put a little comment, reach out to me however you like. Again, all my information is going to be posted right here one more time for you. And we will see you on the next video. Thanks so much. Have a great day.